Hello guys, welcome back to yet another unturned video, and uh, well, I haven't gotten much done since the last time I was on here, but I will just say this much, I do have plans for what I would like to do, and uh, I would like to try and find a freaking blowtorch, one way or another, because I would like to maximize my storage capacity and everything, and oh, by the way, I might as well check quick, how much XP I okay, got, I got 70 XP, that isn't what I wanted, I want to see... I need 10 more points, great. But anyway, um, yeah, I got a full inventory here, kinda. We know I do fix that. I do have a full inventory. And I'd like to fix that quick before, I, well, technically don't, but I'd like to fix that quick before I, uh, you know, frickin' decide to go out on an adventure again. But I think while... I just wanted to get this introduction out of the way. Uh, by the way, I think I might as well get that, this out of the way as well. I apologize for not being active as of lately. I've just been really, really busy as hell. And of course, uh, I've been recovering a bit from that freaking, uh, whatever you want to call it, the flu or whatever. And now I feel great, for the most part. It's just the cold uh, with the whole entire, little bit of a runny nose here and there, but that's because it's cold outside, and that's because, not because I'm sick or anything, but... I'm up to snuff. Should be able to get some recording done now, finally. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, before I go ahead and find a blowtorch over at the scrapyard, I'm going to go ahead and make some maple crates and maybe get some food, too, because I think that would be a, a great idea. So, yeah, I will be right back. Okay, we are back. And, uh, as you can see, my hunger and thirst are up. I caught some fish, so... Of course, there's no real true evidence of that, but seriously though, you can trust me, I actually did fish for the fish this time around. And, uh, I don't know what the problem was last time I tried fishing, because, uh, I couldn't catch any fish last time. But, I don't know if it's because I had a full inventory, and or I wasn't out far enough so that the bobber could float. I don't know, it could be a bunch of different factors, but I'm just gonna... Go ahead and say I'm glad I could catch some fish this time. <laughs> so gonna go ahead and clean up my inventory a little bit. I only built one crate, but it definitely cleared out plenty of inventory space. So I should be able to just casually walk on in over to the junkyard and attempt to get some, uh, you know, some gas or whatever and some supplies. I'm going to go in third person for this, because obviously... That's a beautiful view of a crate right there. Either way, I'm going to go to the scrapyard. I have a bad feeling it's going to be a full moon. So, just to let you guys know, might have to freaking uh, rethink how I'm going to execute this, to say the least. But hopefully it won't be too bad. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and boat on over there. And I th think... Well, I do have a map on me, so I could actually just look this up. Uh, it's a little bit further. Like, as soon as I notice the is this island here, it's to the right. Yeah, it's right over that hilltop here, so... Great. I think I'll go ahead and turn the boat around. I'm gonna go up here where there's more space. I'll turn around and try and park by that, that brush there or whatever. I seriously, I, I still haven't figured out if boats naturally spawn or not, but I think I've almost caught, came to the point of not even trying. <laughs> not gonna lie. I also haven't gotten any feedback or anything in that regard either, so it's like, eh, I'll just keep using this boat. I think I will keep this boat. It's definitely been worth, worth it. Worth the investment, so to speak. But if anyone asks, I guess I just randomly found it just somewhere along the line of anywhere, I don't freaking know. Something else to mention, my disease is at 54%. If it drops any lower than that, uh, I'm going to have to panic a little bit, because I cannot afford to get hit. It's okay, I want to unequip the freaking axe. At no, don't drop it. Freaking put it in your damn inventory, you dumb... Oh my god. Put it there. Thank you. I really need to find something to cure my disease with, though. That's for damn sure. Too bad there are no berry bushes anywhere in this freaking... This, uh, this map. 
plenty of normal bushes, but no berry bushes. So we're going to have to take a stealthy approach here. So I don't freaking start dying. Although if shit comes to shit, if I if it happens for some dumbass reason, and I might be like, the hell with it, I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> give myself something just to kind of, you know, keep me up for a bit. Like, not f fully cure myself, but maybe just get it like just so above 50. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Depends how stupid the uh, the death turns out to be here. And I hope there isn't too much flickering going on because my monitor <laughs> is slowing. So the monitor to the computer I'm using on this toaster is slowly dying. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I just hope that, I really hope to get that game rig built. But at the same time, it's like, maybe I should wait until spring. Because, oh my god, I see, the, I see, I see. Okay, mission accomplished. We can finally start doing stuff with the base. Okay, that crawler heard me, but he didn't see me. We're gonna go prone here. Why? Because, uh, like, virtually invisible to frickin' these damn things when I'm prone. So it's like, perfect. Yeah, we got a blowtorch. Hell yes. So now we can actually build some stuff. I'm actually playing very cautiously right now because I, quite frankly, do not want to die. Okay, yeah, the screen's flickering again. It's like another sign, one of the many other signs besides occasional cra blue screen crashes or whatever. <laughs> saying, your computer is dying. Get a new one. Like, seriously. And it's like, I would love to, but that requires money and everything else and time and effort and shit. And obviously, uh, not all of it has come together yet. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Like, this computer... I don't think this computer is going to last too much longer, to be perfectly honest. Like, I think... It'll be less than a year before it just goes kaput. From just being old as shit. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I was going bro and he didn't even see me in front of him. Oh. I remember there was an update a while back where zombies could roam. But I think they even removed that not too long after or whatever, just because people might have been complaining about how unfair it is or something with, like, sneaking up behind zombies to kill them. Go prone here. Here we go. Get on his level. To hell with it. We're going to get some scrap here. Cause I plan on hitting. Ooh, I want that to make some orange furniture. You know what the hell with it? Well, give me red. We're gonna go for the hot theme. Yeah, give me all the colors. Fudge on it. <gasps> I see another blowtorch. Yes, more blowtorches is great. Cause in case I die and can't get back to my crap, I can have backup, so to speak. And goddamn it, this screen's being stupid again. Okay, it stopped. That's another reason why I turned down the brightness and contrast a little bit on the computer's monitor. Like, on the computer itself, not just in-game, not in-game, by itself. You know what? More scrap for me. <gasps> Yellow flare. I have to have it. Sorry, flashlights are completely useless to me, because I have this headlamp, two of them actually. I'm just going to turn them all into scrap, even though it's only one scrap. <laughs> it's scrap. It's free metal. I don't care. The zombie needs to die now. I am not at all sorry. Okay, that zombie's gonna come right over to my where I was. Of course, he's too stupid to know that I moved from that spot. I am now right behind him. I like the able to stun thing though. It makes makes killing zombies easier than like Unturned 2.0. 
Although you can still enable it where they don't get stunned, like you probably saw when I first created this game here. Anywho, yeah, got a lot of shit I can accomplish. Like, like I said, it was saying the Easter eggs, some quests, etc., etc. And now I need a way to jump. I'm waiting. And in the meantime, I think I'll eat my uh, my cooked goldfish. And I'll drink a box of apple juice too while I'm at it. I'm gonna make a quick pit stop over at the the lighthouse at some point to get some more uh, consumables, mostly drinks. I think there was occasionally like a candy bar or something over there. I think. Don't quote me, but I think. But I'm pretty positive there ain't. I think it's mo only drinks. I think there's still one other zombie around here, but uh, the hell if I would remember. Then again, I think it was the one that got lured by my, my gunfire. Okay. A nail gun. Better quality, so I'll take her anyway. I could sell that stuff yet. Yeah, not sell it. Well, maybe I could. For some XP. I don't know. Wouldn't bet my life on it, obviously. Uh, Let's see here. But I definitely crafted into some scrap. I need a lot of scrap. I don't plan on building my base out of scrap, uh, scrap, out of metal, so it doesn't heavily concern me in that regard. But if it was like mul a multiplayer PvP server, then yeah, I would be more intuitive or wanting to do that. I don't really care too much for PvP. I, I love casual gameplay stuffs like this. Doing missions, just finding stuff, surviving against the elements, so to speak. By the way, I'm just waiting for my energy to go, because I'm constantly having to wait for my energy to come back. Um, and it's just like, yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit more casual. It's not so competitive. Although there are a bunch of people out there who love competitive gameplay, and it's like, good for you. Go ahead and feel free to play it then. If you want to play it like that, you go right ahead. I am not going to stop you, and I don't plan to. And I also have a full inventory. Okay, keep the okay. Yeah, scrap, scrap all those crowbar. Should I scrap the Freeman? Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep the Freeman. I think I'll mount it on my wall. I'm not even kidding. God damn it! How am I missing space still? God, <sighs> freaking unbelievable. Yeah, I'll salvage this. I don't have a use of a shovel. It's just a weak melee weapon. If it was used for farming, actual farming then it would maybe have a bit more of a purpose. But I'm not asking for... i I'm not giving any ideas here. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have no reason to have the... have the friggin' shovel. Or use it as a weapon. Because I got a Swiss Army knife, which gets the job done a lot better when it comes to backstabs. Also, I cannot jump right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just look and see what I got here. Okay, you know what? I might craft that back down into scrap metal because it takes up less inventory space. Okay, or don't jump up there. Whatever. I don't care. Don't care. To <laughs> give me that flashlight though. Freaking turn that into some useful scrap metal. Maybe someone's favorite weapon happens to be a flashlight, and I'm really upsetting them. In that case, I apologize in advance, but. I have no reason for flashlights as of now, because like I said, I have a headlamp. And my screen's being stupid again. It should stop momentarily. It better, at least. Here, let's look in here. Hockey stick. Uh, crappy granola bar. A decent grape juice. Surprisingly good wheat. Oh, there it goes. 100% <gasps> water. I want this carrot. I'm still taking the carrot, because I can at least craft that into a seed and plant it. Which I think I should do. An umbrella. I think I should take that umbrella as a backup. Hey look guys, another full inventory. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, why? I made room for it though. Didn't have to drop a thing. Oh, I can't even pay. Okay, I have a true full inventory right now. Have any food? No. 
as a big fat new. Shit. Well, anyway. Uh, is there anything I can get rid of? Or would want to? I don't really need the stick. Sticks aren't hard to get. It's almost coming nighttime, too. I should probably get out of here soon, just in case it's a full bloody moon. A black umbrella. I'm not going to take it. I'm not. Uh, I can salvage this. Glue's a little bit more important to me than uh, a black umbrella. Considering, un uh, I apologize in advance for saying this, black is my least favorite color. Or lack of color. Whatever you want to think of it as. But it's my least favorite, in terms of everyday logic or whatever, it's my least favorite color. Why? I don't know. It's got a long background story, but it just... It just creeps me out, all right? It's just like an unnatural thing. I don't freaking know how to explain it, but I it resemb I do know this that it's like a color that many people think of as death or whatever. Resemble it with death or whatever, like the whole entire the colors have meaning thing. Black is most is like associated with like death or anything like that, you know, some like in a depressing category pretty much. But I'm no expert, and that isn't really the main reason. I don't know why I really don't like black. It's just like it. Well, mostly other than it creeps me out. I don't know why. Not because of how, it's just the way it is. I'm not a fan of black. It also frightens me too, to be perfectly honest. Although smaller black objects, like maybe a pen or a marker, pff, whatever. It's like, but like I don't know. It it's really weird. I'll put it that way. It's. It dates back when I was a kid with like black checkered freaking uh, a checkered uh, curtain or whatever. I think it was like, it wasn't even black, but it was a very dark color that could be thought of as black if you don't really pay too much attention to it. And it would always freak me out when the light would shine through the curtains when I had them closed. I don't know why. <laughs> That's probably where it truly originates. Well, that and hornets. Oh my god. Don't even get me started on those little pecker stains. And wasps and other shit like that. Probably some of the most useless freaking species of bugs I've ever seen or heard of in my entire life. Are we stuck? Am I stuck? I'm stuck. But you know what? We'll leave it like that. It's here. It got me back. It's a okay. I think right now I will go ahead and make some uh, freaking safes right now because I can actually go ahead and do that drop some of this stuff so I can make some room to make the materials at hand that's not the right thing oh wait that is the right thing hold on what do I need what do I need I think I need some metal bars is what I need ooh I should make a cot a yellow cot hell yes uh, that's a cupboard. How about a safe? Oh, there we go. Here we go. A locker. Same diff. I need two of those and three of those. Okay. Or right, three of those and three of those. Yeah. Same, that's what I meant to say. Damn it. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, I need a doge. I need. What? What'd I do? Did I. Change it back. Oh, I turned a wire into. Okay. I turned a wire into that. So yeah, that's that's what happened. I call these metal bar things are freaking rare, but they're easier to obtain in a sense than uh, I don't know, because you could just use one scrap to make two of them. Granted, with a blowtorch, but still, to be honest, a blowtorch is not too difficult to come across. Disregarding the fact that it did take me a couple episodes to find one. <laughs> it's The blowtorch has some rarity to it. Make it a little bit more worth finding rather than just be like, go over here to your na your friendly neighborhood store here and just take one for free. Guaranteed. All right, look at that storage. Lots of storage right there. I might do a two-part episode here. With like, I will uh, go ahead and just 
call it an end to this part and start another part immediately and start building because I've been wanting to do that for a long time to be honest and now that I finally have a method of uh, of making freaking metal storage containers it's like hell yes right but well, anyway I got I got a decent uh, amount of beverages here okay I'm just gonna craft a seed craft a seed I really need to invest in the agricultural skill or whatever so I can plant this stuff real easy I'm gonna plant this stuff like right here totally logical to grow it that close to a campfire Am I right? Anyway, where's that other seed? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna turn the campfire on just for shits and gigs. Yeah! Now that I'm not trying to be incognito, I can be loud and other crap while I'm here at my base. How much fuel does this have? 100%! No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I actually have to take it out of the box, probably. <laughs> uh, but I can't, because I have full inventory. God damn it. We're going to put this better quality nail gun in here, and we're going to take this one, and we're going to scrap this one. No, we are not, because I can't freaking take the shortcut. Uh, nail gun. Nail, nail gun. I probably have a clip now for it somewhere. Yep. Yep, that I do, that I do. Alright, well, anyway. <clears throat> store some crap here. Uh, umbrella, yeah. I think I'll store both the umbrellas. I don't plan on skydiving. Actually, at the same time, I just think I should keep one on me at all times. Uh, blowtorch. We'll put the crappier one in, I guess. Regardless, as long as there's one put away, that's okay. Put that there. Put the Freeman right here. Uh, ammo clip for that, yeah. I have no reason to have it clog up inventory space. A uh, gas can. An empty gas can. We'll throw her in here. Okay. Uh, fishing rod. Actually, I think I'll keep that. Uh, yeah, shotgun shells, definitely. You know what? I think I'll just do this off can. This is boring as shit, probably. Anyway, uh... Thank you all for watching, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to end this video here, and I think I'll get ready for the next episode here quick. I might record it today. I might not. Don't know yet, but I think I'll try to, at least, so I can, you know, get some content set aside for later, for the future, mayhaps, maybe not. Otherwise, I could always just record it later, because I am finally going to have some days off to just think and just relax a bit, you know. Otherwise, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get my inventory cleaned out and get some stuff ready for the next episode then. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all later.